are you guys? Good. How are you doing? We missed you. Well, you know, um, last time I was supposed to be here, we took a road trip to Chicago mm -hmm. to see Bruno Mars. And oh. how was Bruno? Did you, did you tell him I said hi? Bruno was yeah, fabulous. Yeah, you waved to him for us. We were in the 17th row on the floor, and then we skirted up to the front a little bit. Oh, you're one of those. Really you're one of good. those. Excuse ah. me. Excuse there me. There were empty me. seats. I mean, they weren't being used. So there were empty seats up. at a Bruno Mars concert? Well, after the first few songs, some people left, and we just... Oh. Oh. Right. It was really there good. There you go. All right. Nice. You want to talk small business and preparing your small business for a disaster. Well, for flooding. Mm. For flooding. And, and I do not want anybody to think that this... Um, is anything like what's going on in Houston, because that is awful. Right. And I have a very good friend who owns a closet company in Houston, and they're just devastated. He does, his, his business is underwater, but he can't even get to it to right. see. Mm, so, yeah. But my business, St. Louis Closet Company, has been flooded three times since really? I started. Hmm. So I think a lot of small businesses forget that – you can be flooded and you can be shut down. So you need to really prepare for things like this. And flooding is a big deal. Are you saying flooding like a natural flooding where there's too much rain? Or are you saying where a pipe burst and your showroom was flooded? We flooded three times. The first one, our parking lot drain wasn't cleared out. It had leaves and debris on it. The whole parking lot flooded, came through our garage door. Mm. Mm. Filled up about two feet in the shop. The second time, it was a roof leak. Mm. A lot of rain. A big roof leak turned right. into a bigger roof leak, flooded out, destroyed a ton of our material. The third one was just two years ago. We had a huge rain. The sewer storm sewers on Big Bend couldn't keep up with the rain. Right. Big Bend flooded, backed up six to eight feet of water, yeah, I remember this. which flooded into mm -hmm. my parking lot and under the garage doors. Mm. So once again... Flooding, not necessarily just from rain or rivers coming right, up. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Not a hurricane, but but normal exactly. disasters. Yeah. And, and the problem with you guys is you guys, all your materials, you make all the closets there. Exactly. And we're not in a floodplain. We don't have flood insurance. Right. So this is something that I think, and I can't tell you how many small businesses I know have had water issues from rain, sewer backups, roof leaks, construction issues, sprinkler systems that accidentally go off and flood your whole office right. and flash flooding. So and pipes break. Right. Mm -hmm. So there are so many things and water can do more damage, I think. Look at the Grand Canyon. Than almost anything. Yeah, no mm -hmm. joking aside, yeah. water wins. Water wins every right. time. So you have to remember flooding can occur anywhere. You don't have to be in a floodplain. People say my business isn't going to flood, I'm not in a floodplain. It it can. Um Flooding can happen for many reasons, like we talked about. But before you locate your business somewhere, find out if it is in a floodplain. And if it is, go around and talk to some of the other businesses in the area and see how often it floods. Mm -hmm. Get flood insurance, definitely. But when you get flood insurance, find out what it really covers. Mm. Sometimes flood insurance will cover if a pipe breaks or a roof leaks or a sewer backs up, but it won't cover just rain because it's an act of God. Right. Yeah. So find out what your flood insurance before before you enter into that agreement. Find out what it's really going to cover. But the thing I want to tell small businesses: have a plan because there is going to be something that you're going to need to have this plan for. One, make sure all your computers are backed up off-site. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This should happen daily, weekly, monthly right. for anything. A fire. Um, flooding, have your computer system totally backed up off-site and make sure you can access it from somewhere off-site. Right. Like my friend in Houston right now, he can't get to his physical location. However, he can get to his business through his computer from his home. Mm -hmm. What so about, now you, you have a lot of hard copies. We have a lot of hard copies. We do. And all of our stuff we have learned in our last three floods, each time we have um, had to basically get rid of everything right. and start over. And what we've done is we have built everything in our shop eight inches up off the ground, mm -hmm. and we've built it on water-resistant material mm. so that if it does flood, mm -hmm. the highest we've gotten in our shop is six inches of water. So we've gone to eight inches up off the ground right. so that if it does flood again, the material, because we've had to throw away dumpsters mm. full of material. Because right. once particle board gets wet, it's, right. it's, it's over. Yeah. Um, you want to be able to have a plan 
to get there as quickly as you can after a flood and clear the water out of the way. We were lucky two years ago. I was, of course, out of town when the flood happened, and all of my employees were able to come in overnight with brooms and squeegees and get the water out of the building so our machines were not sitting in water. That's why you love your employees. That's why we love our employees. Mm -hmm. Install a sump pump, keep your drains clear, and... Get your gutters and roof clean regularly. All of that, or just get the Maryland Heights uh, City Council to give you a huge tax break to build in a floodplain. Never mind. I'm McGraw. sorry. Um, <laughs> I, what's oh going on with the closet goodness. company? St. Louis Closet Company. The, 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 all of the renovations for the showroom are officially completed. Oh, good. I can go back Congratulations. now. You need to come in and see it. It is absolutely beautiful. Yes. We are going to schedule um, in about a week from now a photo shoot and start getting photos of all of the yes. new units. and beautiful. get them up on Facebook and Instagram and in our new brochure. So we are so excited. The new materials look fabulous. The new paint, the new lighting. Three we installed all new lighting in the entire showroom. 314-781-9000. St. Louis Closet Co. Com. Free estimates. Call us. Come by. We want everybody to see the showroom. That is Jennifer Williams from St. Louis Closet Company. Great stuff on the uh, business stuff and uh, St. Louis Closet Company. 2626 South Big Bend, just north of Manchester.